new mod I've been waiting for months for. And it's completely custom, handmade. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have something special from Beef Performance. Something special that nobody else has. It is completely custom and handmade. Absolutely love in the direction of the car. But I want it to stand out a little bit different than the crowd. And today from FedEx, we have it. This car is amazing. The Mach 1s are amazing, but Ford, in my opinion, really dropped the ball on the interior. And that is exactly what's in this box. We're gonna be doing something else in the engine bay as well. This is gonna be an awesome video, guys. I'm really excited for this one. Without beating around the bush, man, let's get to it. Let's start modding the Mach 1. Let's go. All right, so before we do the big the big package here, I wanna show you something that uh, I think every Mach 1, a lot of you guys are gonna really appreciate this. I will link where I got these down below in the description because like you're gonna to wanna to pick some of these up. This is not a sponsored thing or anything like that. I just saw them, they're like 30 bucks, and I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it right now. Powered by Ford, and they are decals. They're supposed to be safe to use under the hood with uh, temperature. They're literally overlays for uh, these little plastic pieces right here. I think it's gonna be pretty freaking sick, man. If I can not mess this up during the install, it's gonna look really freaking good. That way when we pop our hood, we have the fancy ESS supercharger, which is like the thing to have right now. Guys, if you're interested, by the way, follow the links below. That way you guys can save some money on these. But let's move on to our new overlays and see how these things look. And hopefully, you know, we'll have to do a follow-up video, I guess maybe I'll just touch base in the future if they, uh, you know, if I have any problems with them as far as engine bay heat. But so far, what I've seen online, a lot of guys are having success with them. So let's see if we can not screw this up when we put them on. But uh, here, let's give it a junior varsity to try. Let's go. All right, so these came out really good and good. I did a good job, so we didn't mess it up. The unmarked side. And then we got this right here. So this is sick, dude. This looks so good. So the color of this one is actually Twister Orange and it's not reflective like the outside stripes down here, but it's a close match. I mean, as far as the engine bay goes, this is so sick. This is so sick, I really like that. So with the strut tower brace back on, it's gonna look really good. Just something more to spice up the interior of our engine bay. So let's get this one installed. Put the strut tower brace back on, see how it looks as a finished product. Then we're gonna move on to our big box, which is like the grand finale of this video, guys. man this thing is freaking cool i like these vinyls man 30 dollars home run and you can get them in different colors so this is the box that i've been waiting for for quite some time but this is handmade in america right here in the good old usa and this is something custom for the interior. Something that, you know, Ford, before we open the box, that I think, and I, I'd like to do a whole video on things that I don't like, and this would be ideally the number one thing that I would complain about with the Mach 1, is basically we have a Mustang GT interior minus a little shift knob and some stuff like that, like the little trim, blah, blah, blah. I would have liked to have seen, you know, some custom stitching, but when you get the cars, you don't get anything. So one of the things that we've added was right there on the steering wheel. Let me come over here and show you because it is a, Number one question that I always tend to get on this YouTube channel is that right there, Mach 1. Anyway, this is basically a glorified 3D rubber sticker. And you can go to The Badge King on Facebook to pick up one of those. They're about 60 bucks or so and worth every penny. Super pumped up. 
super freaking thrilled. Let's open this thing up together. I have not peeked. No cheating. I have not peeked. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get it out of the box, get all this off of it, and show you this glorious, glorious new mod I've been waiting for months for. And it's completely custom, handmade. Very carefully, we're gonna open this up. Packaged very well. Guys, we got a steering wheel. This is freaking sick. Okay, it's a flat top and a flat bottom with silver stitching to match the interior, smooth leather sides. I didn't want to do Alcantara this time. I want a smooth leather and the matte carbon fiber. We'll look at the weave with a matching orange pinstripe on the top, guys. <sighs> this is so sick. It's not too freaking beefy in the hands. This is perfect. I've held some in my hands where this is just like overdone. It's too much. And you can, unless you've got like triple extra large hands, you can't hold on to the things. But I wanted something different. I wanted a flat top, something to be a little bit different. Uh, silver stitching for the interior, just like the rest of the interior has all over the seats. But the dry matte carbon fiber. Oh my gosh, dude, this is nasty. So another cool thing too is this is not like an aftermarket steering wheel uh, skeleton itself. This is Ford OEM right there, Famoco, stamped right into the metal. So this is an 18 plus steering wheel. Dude, hang on. This feels like OEM from like Ford. I don't see any imperfections and believe me i am looking because these are not cheap and there is a bit of a turnaround time on these but some i'm it's okay with me because if the quality is there then i don't mind waiting a little while this dry carbon is absolutely beautiful or nothing against gloss carbon but the matte dry finish Guys, this is sick. So I'm gonna deinstall the OEM steering wheel and I wanna line it up against this one. I do wanna show them side by side so that you can see what you're paying for when you pay um, you know, all this money for something custom like this. But this is, the, the, the dry carbon fiber has got me, dude. I think that the matte finish gives it a more like a rich texture, a rich feel inside of the cars. Like again, like some high-end cars, like the BMWs and stuff like that. The gloss stuff, it can look cheesy when it's overdone, but when you go matte dry, it kind of blends it a little bit more, and it's just, it doesn't just, I just think it looks freaking beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments. Matte dry finish, what do you think? So, I wanted to be different, and this is definitely different. This is going to stand out, but in a subtle way, because it's not blinding you in the face with all the glossy carbon fiber, and then the quality of the leather, Let's see, let's take a look at this because we're giving up OEM going aftermarket, so I'm just kind of feeling the difference. This one, the OEM feels a little bit more slippery, if I'm being completely honest. This is, uh, it's gonna be hard to catch up on camera. Probably hard to see on camera. This has got a little bit more grain to it, so this is probably a better leather than OEM. This is kind of sticky and slippery at the same time. It's just kind of a weird vinyl that comes with the factory. This is more premium, 100%. I could try to show this. So you can see that the flat top is actually shorter. It's actually shorter than the uh, OEM wheel and the same with the bottom. As far as thickness goes, it's similar, which is not a bad thing, but let's deinstall all of our trim and electronics and put it onto the new steering wheel and throw it on the car. And then we're gonna go for a test drive so you can see POV style what it's like to look at this steering wheel with its new flat top. And I think it's gonna be a game changer. So let's throw it in the car. Let's go. Let's have some fun, guys. Let's dress up the interior of this Mach 1. Let's go. We got everything transferred over and I just want to highlight real quick how well everything fits. A lot of the cheaper aftermarket wheels, um, again, nothing against them, you know, everybody's got their own budget. But as far as this one goes, you can see that everything lines up. There's no gaps anywhere. And these are kind of like where you'll pay attention to right here. And then on the sides where it clips into the plastics, and we'll turn this over. And you guys can see that all of that is exactly just like OEM. Back here, back here, it all snaps together 
perfectly right back here that it is crafted extremely well 10 out of 10 thrilled with the fitment of everything going back into the steering wheel all the buttons and all of the trim so dude this is perfect oh my gosh dude i am freaking thrilled with this all right let's do that looks freaking so sick all right check this out again mach one this is that sticker i'll tell you about just that first custom touch we did to the interior but now we have our flat bottom flat top matte dry carbon with the silver stitching leather premium leather this feels really freaking good the 10 and 2 notches so this is about if i could guess about the thickness of like a let's say a newer f-150 which is good it's not overdone and this is just a little bit thicker it's definitely not more than you need and it's not under it's just perfect I, I think that's absolutely perfect and i am thrilled with the way that this looks and feels so let me throw on the gopro we're going to go for a pov drive so you get the full shot because we're cropped in right now and then you can get the full experience of how this looks but Let's take a pov drive so you guys can see what i'm seeing hopefully this is going to come off on camera just like i'm able to actually see it in person so you're getting a full picture here but i love the way this freaking looks it feels so good so again not too fat not too slim just perfect your 10 and 2 notches are great if you hold your steering wheel just like this this line right here is absolutely freaking money um there is no i didn't opt for any finger grooves up here or down here but i'm sure that you could do that i'm sure that if you request that he could get it done and then you have these other notches right back down here which so for turning the, the steering wheel it just gives you more contact on the actual wheel itself supercharged mach 1 so you can see how well this orange actually matches the pinstriping on the decal itself and then this is just subtle it's not blinding it's it's very premium very i think rich rich looking i really like the matte dry carbon fiber finish this is so sick i want to do the entire dash with this same material here i don't want to go too overboard but i like the fact that the matte doesn't blind you and it kind of just blends in with the rest of the interior and again with all the satin with all the non-gloss satin paint that we have all over the mach 1 i think that this was 100 percent the ticket so let's get out here let's do a quick little drive I really like the feel of the steering wheel. So this is very important piece, just like the seats and the ergonomics of the car. Your steering wheel needs to be perfect too because it's what you're holding on to 100% of the time that you're driving. So I really like the flat bottom here. It doesn't impede on anything that I'm looking at down here as far as gauges. Yeah, yeah, this was the ticket, 100% freaking well done beef performance again links down below in the video description go check them out let him know that i sent you and hopefully be able to give you some kind of a deal or something like that but i mean these are kind of pricey but you are getting your money's worth 100 percent this should have been the way that this car came from the factory with an orange pen stripe and something fancy inside to, to spice up the mach 1 just a little bit more because the outside looks the part now the interior we're addressing that and it's starting to look the part as well let's give that a test you can grab a hold of the notches just like i'm doing now feels good this feels really good All right, guys, that's the video, though. I mean, short little POV action for you so that you can see how everything looks and it came together as far as the interior. Again, we're not finished. I kind of want to carry this whole theme across the dash and then maybe over here as well. I would like to do some kind of like a, a replacement. Everything that we're putting into the Mach 1, yeah, I don't want to cheap out. I want it to be all like high end as much as we can help it, as much as the aftermarket will support. And this is like the first big thing for the interior and I freaking love it dude so beef performance go check them out um, and I think that you'll be happy and then the badge King go check them out as well and then again for the decals under the engine bay on the uh, the little plaques there 
they fit perfectly they installed in like 10 minutes and then i will link all of that information down below in the video description as well but i love the way that the car is coming together jet fighter gray with all the little orange pinstriping everywhere i love it guys i'll see you guys in the next video take care have a great day god bless every single one of you out there and be safe goodbye